we stopped in to pay a visit to Yetter Farm Equipment at the recent Farm Progress Show. So the Yetter 5000 Stock Devastator is a roller that's going to go on the bottom of your corn head. Um, it's, uh, it's going to be spring loaded to give us some down pressure. And then on that roller, there is uh, some flat bars or paddles welded on there, which uh, is going to actually crimp that stock. So what we're doing is we're, we're trying to protect the tires on the combine, uh, the, the grain cart, the tractor pulling the grain cart, virtually every piece of equipment that comes into that field. We're going to be protecting them tires by flattening the stocks. But then also we're actually uh, doing a residue management process where uh, those crimps are going to release the, re or the moisture out of the uh, stocks. Um, and then it's also going to allow uh, microbes to get inside of there to start to decompose that stock much faster. So we're starting that residue management uh, process right there during harvest. So with late harvest, um, <clears throat> we, you know, we may not get a chance to get all the, the planned tillage processes done. Uh, the vertical tillage, the deep ripping, whatever that may be. And so how does that carry through to next year? Well, we saw a perfect example this last year where we didn't get that um, opportunity last fall to get the um, uh, Get, to get our tillage done. Uh, then we fast forward to the spring, we stayed wet, we stayed cold, we didn't get a chance to get that tillage done then. So uh, as we said this year, we had a lot of uh, accidental no-tillers uh, that were just actually no-tilling right into them staining corn stalks. So um, if that's the case, if we repeat that again, by using the stalk devastating the fall, we've already started that residue management uh, process, that decomposition of the stalk. So now when we come to spring, um, if we don't have that plan A, that, that tillage already done to size residue or to do our tillage, uh, at least by using the devastator on that it's going to allow us then to be able to no-till right back into that uh, corn stalks because we've already decomposed that stock quite uh, quite a bit. So um, since 2012 I believe it is uh, when the stock devastator was introduced um, 30 inch rows uh, non-chopping has has been the standard and so in 2018 we actually introduced another model of stock devastator a little bit different um, but it was able to go on to chopping corn heads and on to 20 or 22 inch corn heads so today um, there are almost 60 different models um, that we can actually put on corn heads. Um, so 30 inch rows, uh, 6, 8, 12 row, 16 row, 30 inch heads, but then also now the 20 inch, 22 inch, and a lot of chopping corn heads as well. So often we get asked, you know, will um, my, uh, my corn head, after I put the devastator on there, will it work on my head cart? Uh, there are a few variables on that. Most of the time, though, the answer is yes. Uh, we can actually put that, that uh, with the Devastator on that, we can put that corn head right onto most carts. Uh, there's a couple question marks. Um, a little bit more adjustability on some of these carts makes it easier. Um, so there's a few questions to be asked, but yeah, I mean, most of the time, we're able to go right on the, de the uh, head carts without any issues. Well, certainly in 2018, we got a chance to find out if it's going to work in muddy conditions across a lot of uh, the Midwest. Um, and just as in previous years, what we saw was uh, most everybody that was running them never even noticed that they were on there. Um, certainly going through the, the muddy conditions, uh, the roller, um, it's actually just going to continue to roll through there. And so um, actually on the roller, uh, we have the flat bars or the paddles actually over top of the row. And so what happens is, is those corn stalks, as we're flattening them, that it basically rubs that and it's going to clean that off. So in between the rows, uh, there's actually just the bare roller there. There's no paddles on that. And so that that's uh, that's so that it does not actually build up there. So certainly uh, it's going to go uh, work very well going through those muddy conditions. Yeah, so entering 90 years uh, with Yetter, um, Really today what our focus is, is residue management, seedbed preparation, and uh, nutrient application. And so uh, a, lot of our, uh, a lot of our products, or most all of our products, are actually centered around that product. And uh, we, we kind of state that, you know, for us, it's residue management 365. So every day of the year, we're worried about residue management. That starts with the combine that carries through to the, to the planter, uh, maybe strip till pass in between there. Uh, the nutrient application, of course, um, we've got that uh, in, in the fall. We have that with pre-plant on the planter and then also on site dress and so uh, that's really our focus that, that we do um, every day of the year.